Hey everybody, Trinfinitex here. Back with some more Pokemon Sword. So I thought last time was gonna do it, but then I discovered something and then decided, well actually I discovered a couple things and then decided, you know what, we're gonna do one last episode of this to truly wrap it up. Because the battle tower is less obnoxious, so I think we can do it. I might do some refights as well. And also there's this item that I completely missed, so I decided one last episode of Pokemon Sword. Just one more. Michael Sequata. How's it going, guys? Good to see both of you. Michael, thank you for the lurk. But if you are still here, tell me something. Do you watch um, a certain series on YouTube by GameSpot? It's like the X amount of things you still don't know about Breath of the Wild. Have you seen that series on YouTube? It's like 22 things you still didn't know about Breath of the Wild or 30 something things you still didn't know about Breath of the Wild. Man, there's some cool tricks and tips in there. Like there really is. Okay, so I'm here in Turfield. And we're gonna talk to this little girl. There's an item here in Turfield that we can get early on that I just completely missed because I didn't see this puzzle and didn't talk to this NPC. So, a treasure lies is buried somewhere in Turfield. Going to the treasure map. The trick to finding the treasure lies in the standing stones. Seek yourself three standing stones with grass before the others. Use well that strength. And find then the strength of its strength in the end. Dally not if you've a mind to find what time has left behind. Ah. Uh. Okay. So. Not gonna lie, I looked this up. I was just looking up how to get a certain item and then discovered that, uh, yeah, it's here in Turfield. Of all places, so. I don't know if you have to talk to the little girl or not, but I decided to do so anyway. But then you just talk to this statue, or to this, to those stones over there. You just see that grass is written on it, then you come over here. Then you go over here and talk to that one. And then you talk to this one. And then something's buried in the ground. And behold, an expert belt. Oh, hey, Michael, you are still here. Thought you were lurking. Uh, will, will there ever be a real open world Pokemon game? Yes. Gen 9, Scarlet and Violet in like three months. That's one of their main selling points, is that it will be true open world. And it looks fantastic. Like, that's one of the things that I am pleased to see. Like, you can even do the gym battles in any order, which is something I've been saying that they've... That, honestly, they've needed to do that since, like... Like, Gen 5 or 6. Like, they should have done that ages ago, and they're finally doing it. It's gonna be great, man. But Michael, tell me, have you seen GameSpot's X amount of things you didn't know about Breath of the Wild? Have you seen that series on YouTube? You should check it out, man. There's a lot of cool stuff.
Oh, well, thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. So I've actually got items on my team now, and I've also carefully reworked all of their IVs and EVs to be exactly what I want it to be. Even changed a few of their moves. Anyway, so I'm going to give that expert belt to uh, Yveltal here. You think you've seen a few of their videos like that? Yeah, like, this, like, they... Every once in a while, those videos actually show off some really cool tricks. Some neat tech. Like, I kind of want to try some of it. Like, one of their latest videos showed this really cool, uh trick kill of a guardian where like link does this uh this flurry rush through the guardian and just like blasts it off into the sunset and it turns out there was a, a bunch of different tricks that went into that and some of them look like tricks that are easy enough for casuals like me to do like they don't look like they're especially difficult tricks to do like Obviously, the whole thing is maybe too much for me, but, like, a couple of those tricks, like the jelly bounce, I was like, oh. See, so if you do a charge attack on a chew jelly, it just bounces you up in the air high enough to get bullet time just anywhere you want to. Also, there's a trick to just getting flurry rush whenever you want it. S sounds kind of awesome to me. <laughs> so, like, I'm already thinking... You know, I might try to learn a couple of those tricks, because they look simple enough. But they have almost game-breaking power, so... I am down for that. Actually, hold on. There's an easier way to do this. It's a brand new item. It's not a brand new item. What? Okay, hold up. Expert belt? Where's expert belt then? Did I already have one? That can't be right. So I looked for it. Unless it's not in this list. Yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh, I did. That's so weird. I thought I only had the one. Oh well. Well, fine. Still showed off where to get that. But yeah, also, like, I was I was shocked when I saw, like, walking around with Daruk's protection permanently on... I was like, I can't believe I missed that. You can just walk around with Daruk's protection permanently on. Without holding the shield button. Like, that one really got me. Like, it was so simple, I, it makes me wonder if it's, like, version specific or something. But apparently all you have to do is hold out your shield to get Daruk's protection on, and then try to use Magnesis or Stasis. And then it just stays on, and you can walk around normally, I guess. And I can't believe I didn't run into that by accident. I don't know if certain actions disrupt it or turn it off at that point, but like... Man, that's that sounds fantastic. Alright. So... I climbed a few ranks here at the Battle Tower, and I climbed them in a very short amount of time. Even though... And now I'm, I'm pretty much ready to finish the battle tower. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish it today. See, I'm already Ultra Ball tier. So I'm a few victories away from what I assume is the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm thinking, why not just 
go for it. Yeah, we're gonna lead with... We're gonna lead with Callie and see how it goes. Then Zacian. Then across my Duskbane. And I think we should be able to just blast our way through the tier. Uh, even though I said before I don't want to, you've started to get into menu overloading. Yeah. Managed to do durability transfer and item duplication. Yeah. That's awesome. You have guardian shields with Hylian shield durability. You mean ancient shields? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Either, either way, I personally don't bother with durability transfer, but obviously you know I, I do like item duplication and stuff, and menu overloading. It's so easy to do, though, isn't it, though? Just a bunch of multi-shot bows and shock arrows is all you need, and to overload your menu whenever you want to. Like, it's so easy to do. There's no real reason not to do it. There's so much benefit you, when there's so much benefit you can gain from it. Am I right? Let's get started. I don't think we'll need Dynamax for this. Yep, gonna be easy. I think this is why they made it so we can't take legendaries into the BDSP battle tower. I think they realized after releasing this, it's just, it's too easy to just kind of destroy everything. On emulator, it's a bit finicky, but still too easy and too useful not to use it. Exactly. Exactly. So I spent all of last night, like, just working on this game, trying to get everything as nice and neat and as orderly as I wanted. I expanded my Pokedex. I now have 200 of the 400 in the Galar po Pokedex, as well as more in the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra, but, like... I wanted to switch to Breath Breath of the Wild and try out some of the tricks I learned. Like, I can't wait to go back to that game. Like, I'm not going back to that game next week, guys. Don't worry about that. But, like, I'm definitely going back to Breath of the Wild at some point. There's so much fun to be had in that game. I can already tell you, the next game I want to do is going to be one of two things. It's either going to be uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, or it's going to be... A game called Zone of the Enders. I'm still deciding on whether or not I want to do Zone of the Enders. Not sure about it, but... We'll see. I might do it sooner or later, depending on certain things. But Kirby in the Forgot Forgotten World is what's... is uh, definitely on the list to be played next. Zone of the Enders will be short. 
it won't be a long series. Oh yeah, no, like, Breath of the Wild will probably be at right after Kirby. Yeah, I'm expecting Kirby will be next, but, like, the only thing that would stop me from doing Kirby next is if somehow the game doesn't arrive. Like, on time. Like, I need to actually get the game before next, before next week. I thought I could go to my Walmart and just pick it up, but it's not there. So I have to order it online and it has to get here before, ne before Friday. If it gets here, then we'll just do that. We'll do Kirby, and then we'll do Breath of the Wild. If not, then I might have to take a detour to Zone of the Enders just to stall for time. And I, you know, Zone of the Enders is not exactly high priority because it's not a hundred. It's not not the most family friendly game. It kind of straddles the border on what I consider family friendly. So I'm not in a hurry to do it, but. It is a game I want to play, because it's really cool. So, we'll do it eventually. <laughs> but yeah, definitely going back to Breath of the Wild in the next couple of months here. Kirby should take a while, though. Kirby will probably take a few weeks to get through. Oh, look. Wasting time with Protect. Yeah, the main reason is, like, for Kirby, I just want to, like, give Kirby a chance, because I've never actually played a Kirby game. I played, like, the Robobot demo. Ooh, ouch. Painful. Sucker Punch, but that's okay. We got two other Pokemon that are crazy. Back row. Yeah, but I've never actually played a full Kirby game, and because this is Kirby's first venture into into the realm of actual 3D, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give Kirby a try. I tried. I played the demo, and the demo was all right. I didn't think it was bad. I didn't think it was great, but I didn't think it was bad. So I decided to just go ahead and be like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a try anyway. And a bottle cap, nice. Always nice to see those. Kirby and Luigi's Mansion both suck. Oh, I know what you, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Duck Game, how's it going? Took me a second to understand what you were saying. Yeah, have a good night, Michael. Thanks for showing up to chat. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the show. Whatever part you end up catching. Have a good night, man. this music. This music is really good. Like, I know I can change the music to other battle themes, and they're good too, but honestly, this, this one's pretty good. So how did it get to go first just now? Uh, that's weird. This must be some ability that lets it go first.
Come on, where's the surprise, Leon? It's gotta be coming soon. Ugh. So that's one of the things I still need to do. I need to do the fossil Pokemon. Or get at least some of the fossil Pokemon, anyway. Duck Game, I have only like two fossils in my collection, despite digging multiple times. Don't suppose you'd have any of the other fossils. Like, do you have shield, or do you have sword like I do? Like, remind me what version you have, or do you have both? Like, do you have some of the missing fossils that I'm... That I don't have, like... Oh, wow. It lived? Incredible. I would take actually survived that. I did pick up a Dracovish, a uh, Dracofish, by the way. You can get Ashes, you can get it as part of Ash's team this month. I'll show it off here in a minute when we go after that. go yeah it turns out dragovish is actually pretty good like if you use it correctly it has so many power enhancing abilities like it's move like it's move doubles in strength if it goes first then it has strong jaw it gives it more power then you can go like full adamant on a on it and it has like crazy power oh there he is there's leon my dream has always been to make the people of gal of the gala region stronger and this battle tower is making that dream come true so come on trin i think you and i i can get even stronger too a fierce battle is the only way to do it bring it leon I wonder if this is the last battle in the tower. Let's do it. Focus Ash. Oh, and it has Dark Pulse. Oh, yep. Snap. That's okay. I have a counter offer. I have a retort. Zamazenta's older sister here. What? Inteleon can't hurt me. So I'm actually gonna Swords Dance. If Inteleon has something, yeah, some way to kill me in one shot, I'm gonna be very surprised. And we're just gonna get rid of it. No need for anything crazy. Just a crunch will do. But now I'm plus three Zation. How are you gonna handle this, Leon? Hey, Piker, welcome in. Good to see you. Hmm. Not very effective, but. Yeah, 
we're gonna do it anyway because you're gonna Dynamax, aren't you? I knew it. You ready to trade, Piker? Stick around for an hour or so and we'll do it. thought would happen at plus three. And then it doesn't really matter what we use here, does it? We'll go for play rough. I think, look at that. Look at that nonsense. Five, yes, 95% accuracy. So of course it has to miss once. I just, I knew it. I knew if I picked play rough, it would miss. But that's okay. There we go. You never stop surprising me, you know that? Really astonished at how far you've come. Right then, let's move you up a rank. Oh, is there another rank still? There are no limits when it comes to Pokemon. Keep on having a champion time. Now that's an absolutely champion time. The stronger you get, the more the trainers here at the Battle Tower burn with the desire to be the one to beat you oh, and break your streak. Pokemon are all sharpening their teeth and claws in anticipation. And I'll be, be putting together my greatest ever Team 2, naturally. So do your best to reach me once again. Alright, you should take this. I reckon it'll fit you as well as it could anyone. Battle Tower uniform. And 2 BP. Congratulations, you've moved up a rank. You're now at rank max, okay. It's not at all, you've reached the Master Ball tier. You've earned a reward for moving up to the ranks. Ten, 10 rare candies, thank you very much. Three bottle caps. An ability capsule, very nice. A gold bottle cap, also very nice. Quiet mint, really. And 50 BP, much better. Excellent. How much BP do I even have? Oh, I have a lot. I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Jolly mints. Well, hold on. Maybe I shouldn't be too hasty. Do I need any more of these right away? Not especially. Yeah, I think the mints are gonna be the most important thing. A few more choice items later on might be nice to have, but... It's always good to have appropriate mints. Let me get two Jolly Mints. All right, so apparently there's still more. We'll come back, though. Don't want to do too much at once. And thank you, Sequata. I appreciate it. So, yeah, if I go to my save function here, like you can see, I've got 203 Pokemon now in my Pokedex. So that's over half the Galar Pokemon because, you know, for some reason... When you look at the save menu, it only counts the original Pokedex. It doesn't count. Yeah, it, do, it doesn't count the Isle of Armor or Crown Tundra stuff, of which I have over half in both of those as well. 
So, all in all, I have over two thirds, over two thirds of the available Pokemon. And that's good enough for me. I did catch some cool stuff though. I actually caught a shiny Buzzwool in the uh, in the Max Raid Den. Just it was just there. <laughs> I went. I finally found a Buzzwool, and then when I went over to select it, I saw that it was green, and I was like, "Was it always green?" And then I looked it up, and it's like, "Oh no, that's the shiny. Cool." Just ended up getting it. So, I'm quite happy with that. Be busy for a while, so I'm... Even so, I'm sure I'll be able to trade. Okay, I mean, Piker win. Like that's that's really the that's really the thing. Like I'm thinking I should be able to wrap this this game up and be ready to trade in say an hour. An hour and a few minutes. Is that long enough for you? Maybe a little longer, but like like an hour and a half, something like that. Or do you need even more time? If you're gonna be up late enough, we could trade. We could trade like two hours from now, even. There's a few other things to wrap up. Okay, so we're back here. Back here at the main arena because I kind of want to see if there's any, like if there's refights at a higher level for like the singles battles. So we're gonna do the we're gonna do the singles battles again. Also, this will change my uh, team on the starting screen, which is kind of what I want. So, two hours? Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll, we'll do some trades today, Piker, because today is Pokemon wrap up day. I'm going to wrap up Sword and Shield. I'm gonna wrap up some extras in Arceus because now I have a Pokemon, you know, I have a Sword and Shield save file now, so I can actually do something in Arceus that I couldn't do before. And then we're gonna head over to BDSP and we're gonna take care of that and finally finish 100% for that. Thanks to Piker, who's gonna trade me that uh, Celebi. And even if it's a swap back and forth, it's still gonna be perfect. And that'll wrap up three games and 100% of their content, or in Sword and Shield's case, 100% of all I'm gonna bother with. <laughs> all right. So, I have Urshifu on my team right now, but the truth is we really don't need him anymore. Urshifu's a good Pokemon, really, but not exactly top tier. Like, the truth is, Yveltal is basically just a better, is just better Urshifu, single strike. 
And if you want a better Urshifu Rapid Strike, well, you would just use Kyogre. Which, of course, I have maxed out and ready to go. So this is the actual team I would like to have. This, I think, will do well. Something like this. Mm. Nah, nah, we'll leave we'll leave it like that. Just thinking about how I want the actual screen to look. That'll work. All right, so we're gonna do singles again. So I can change the team, my team at the, on the starting screen. Trainer, I'd like to invite to take part in the tournament today. Uh... Hmm, interesting. I mean, should be Leon, right? Like, Hi, Aurora, how's it going? Yeah, force a specific opponent? Well, I mean, Leon's the one I wanted to see. I'm surprised he wouldn't be forced in anyway. How's it going, Aurora? Man, your throat's killing you? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll be praying for you, Aurora. I hope you feel better soon. All right, so today is Pokemon wrap-up day. Oh, Leon immediately. Okay. Who is... F who is Phobos? Who is that? And Yue, who who are these people? Okay. Sure. Let's see how they handle Reggie Lecky here. Or Reggie Lecky. Leon immediately though. Yeah, who are these people? I mean, whatever. Whoever they are, they're gonna get stomped. see shouldn't we be allowed to wear our whatever outfit we want since we're the champion they 
gyms you do are major league. The rest of the types are minor league. I mean, I mean, really, the only thing I want to do is change the team on the start screen. And I think I have to do this, don't I? In order to do that, I think that's how I do this. It's just the standard tournament, right? Leon, stop being obnoxious. Right, so then this is exactly where I want to be. Why would my attack fall? I'm starting to get on my nerves, Leon. It's fine. This wasn't a good opponent for Reggie Alecki anyway. That's okay. I want to test out my Kyogre. Let's see you survive this, Leon. Scarf Kyogre. Oh, I should raise the... Yeah, I should take care of five power points right here. Yeah. Should definitely change that. Wow. Just alternating protect like that. Man, get out of here. Just get out of here. So irritating. Dragapult, nope. I should be faster than Dragapult. Because I have a scarf. And yep, level 78. That's what I was that's what I was looking for. So yeah, if you do the refights, they're much higher level. Than when you fight the first time in singles. So that's good. That's exactly what I want. That means there was a point in doing this refight other than just the title screen. Because you get to see their Pokemon at higher level. Now, he's still going to lose, like, incredibly one-sidedly, but... actually save that last water spout. Inteleon. I would say they'll never get rid of Cynthia completely because she's too awesome of a character. That's what I would tell you. Whether she retires or not. If they do get rid of Cynthia, like, completely, then they're dumb. Because a lot of people like Cynthia. <laughs> and now 
now we'll switch back in, Kyogre, because I'm expecting... I'm expecting his Charizard to Dynamax. when we hit the water spout. <laughs> level 80. You, that's definitely higher level than it was. Bang, there we go. Okay. The test of Choice Scarf Kyogre is now complete. It works great. Quite a different champion than I was, just as you should be. Show us a new future. Thanks, new champion. These all-out battles of ours will help me grow. I think it's safe to say you're the best, best champion that Galar has ever seen. Uh-huh. I see the, the... I see the nobodies got beaten, so we'll never find out who they were. And Kabu is next? Also, we can reorder our team here. Oh, okay. Obviously, we're healed up between rounds. Interesting. Okay, well, fine. Leon is the one I really came for because I wanted to see if his team would be higher level, if it would be stronger at all, and sure enough, it was. Now, he still lost anyway because I have a team full of legendaries, but that's not the point. The point was to see that and to see, I mean, not just, yeah, if anybody else was stronger and also to get that start screen to look a little better. Uh, yeah, okay, so, like, I could see Cynthia going full archaeologist, but, like, they're not gonna get rid of her character. Her character's still going to be around. <laughs> like, even if she chooses to retire from being champ, like, she's too good. She's too good. And also crazy strong, so, like, they're never gonna get rid of Cynthia's character. She's one of the best characters they've ever written. One of. There are a few others, of course. But yeah, she might go full archaeologist. In the anime. <laughs> I mean, they can do whatever they want in the anime. I mean, like, Team Rocket used to show up all the time. Now they show up only every so often. So, like, you never know. Like, Team Rocket's still around. They just don't show up every single episode, right? Or at least not with some evil scheme. <laughs> not every episode. Although they're planning something for that tournament they're in. No idea what, though. A tournament that end ends when you lose. Whoever can keep up the heat will win. Sure thing, Kabu. Little surprised I started with Leon. To be honest with you. All right, well, just go ahead and blast my way through the rest of you. Yeah. There we go. Level 72, though. Looks like Kabu is stronger, too. The Team Rocket Podcast. Hey, two drought Pokemon. I wonder if I should ruin him by just switching in Kyogre and immediately 
upsetting his entire team. Yeah, they they definitely do a lot less with Team Rocket nowadays, from what I've noticed. Again, I don't really watch the anime that much, Duck Game. But from what I've noticed, they definitely don't do nearly as much with Team Rocket nowadays as they used to. Like, especially in Gen 1. <laughs> like, if you remember the Gen 1 anime, Team Rocket was in almost every single episode. They had some dumb scheme. It was hilarious. Like, at first it was just funny, then it kind of got monotonous, and then it was funny again because they just never learned their lesson. They just ne they just absolutely refused to give up. Jesse and James and Meowth are actually pretty fantastic characters after a while. It took them, it takes forever for them to build up to that, but like, if you... You know, if you know them well enough over time, like, they're actually pretty funny characters. Intimidate? Aw. Oh, that's right. Arcanine. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, Gen 5. Gen 5 where they did that whole thing with uh, Meloetta and like that hidden underwater temple thing to get like the Therians out. That was kind of cool actually. I liked that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna ruin his team. <laughs> just gonna swap in Kyogre and just be like so... What you gonna do now? What you gonna do against the king of the ocean here? Funny how Gen 3 really wasn't all that memorable as like as far as like the games or the story goes, but like man, they had some crazy impactful Ubers though. Groudon and Kyogre and uh, Rayquaza and Deoxys, like absurdly fantastic legendaries, but like Gen 3 itself was like, eh, kind of forgettable otherwise. Every episode from Gen 1, 1 through 5 was literally Team Rocket or Gym Badge. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Don't even need to Dynamax for you. This water, water, water spout's crazy. Oh, I'm stumbling all over my words there. Come on. Wake up, brain. Yep. And he was only level 74, so Leon was the strongest. Leon was the strongest at the very beginning. Hey, look, it's Bead. Well, would you look at that?
Yeah, like, from what I can tell, it looks like they've kind of broadened the storytelling a little bit. Kind of made it less centered on Ash and more on, like, a community of different people. You know, it's more about a community of different types of people and different types of trainers and their relationships with the various Pokemon. And, like, part of me appreciates that, and part of me is like, okay, but... <laughs> but also, you've actually, like... How, how shall I say this? The older Pokemon generations, like, the episodes were almost... Like... Again, my most of my knowledge comes from Gen 1, uh, but, like, the Gen 1 anime was kind of, it was kind of so bad it was good, and then they had, like, an actual deeper plot in the Gen 5 one, and that was fun, I guess. Like, that was fun, I suppose, but, I mean... But now they're like, it's, you know, they seem less focused. There's not really, a, you know, a, an overarching plot except this big tournament that's going on, right? And, you know, Team Rocket's not constantly showing up to do hilariously dumb things. So, I don't know. It seems less interesting because the type of storytelling they're going for right now reveals how shallow their characters and the whole story really is because it's, it's a children's show. So, I mean, I guess maybe it's entertaining for children, you know, to be fair. But, uh, since, since it's written for them. But, like, it seems less interesting than it used to be to me. Okay, you know what? I kind of like his theme, though. Bead's got a good theme. It's not so bad ending on him. I wish Journeys would put more focus on that. Oh, Cole? Yeah. Yeah, the girl... Yeah, the girl who lives... Yeah, the girl with the Eevee, yeah. They should focus more on her, I agree. Because honestly, Ash is just still a dumb kid. <laughs> well, he's just, he's just sort of a high energy type that's just like, he's a very typical anime protagonist. But then again, you know, it's like I said, like, the show was written for kids, and so I guess, you know, it's hard being an adult and saying, oh, like, oh, they should do this or that. It's like, well, it's not written for us. It's not really our audience. That's why I don't really watch the show all that much, because it's like... It's clearly written for kids. It's not that interesting. It's just, eh. Like, it's not bad. It's just not good either. There are better animes to watch. I mean, the evolutions are very popular. They really are. <laughs> for example... For example, the evolutions are very popular, and I see why. I I kind of like the evolutions. I like the evolutions. Also, hey, Time Tree, how's it going? You know, I don't I don't really object, to be honest. Yeah, you know what? Let's have my entire team up for this. Bye bye, Sylveon. All right, two more one-shots to go. I am gonna switch here, though. 
I could have exploded on that, but it's not really necessary. Let's finish this with the legendary. Let's do it. Steel is the way to go anyway. We don't need Dynamax. We have the anti-Dynamax right here. Don't think there will be any need to boost. Yeah, I have no problems with evolutions. They're cute, they're cool, and some of them are good. <laughs> some of them. Yeah, some of them are less so than others, but you know. Eevee was such a good idea. Whoever came up with Eevee deserves a raise. We all know someday there's gonna be an evolution for every type. That only is Asian anti Dynamax is just a broken Pokemon. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. It is perhaps the most broken Pokemon at the moment. Yeah, see level 74 here on Bead. So Leon is the strongest. With the level 80 Charizard. So we fought the strongest first. Not to have the misfortune of being born in the same time period as you. Hey, you can always go over and tell Dialga you'd like to go back a bit. Arceus. If it weren't for you, then I could prove beyond undoubt that I am the best. Still, I do enjoy my battles with you, to a degree. Okie dokie. Okay. A wishing piece, cool. Yeah, not exactly a million Poke Dollars this time around, but that's okay. That's not what I did it for. Save game. And my team should look different on the start menu, right? Be different? Did I achieve what I wanted? Yep, it's not in the order I put it in, but it's fine. It's good enough. I'm fine with this. Very nice. And yes, I am sticking with this outfit. I like this outfit, it's good. I think this outfit works. Like, there are plenty of good outfits I've seen out there. There's lots of good ones. I've experimented with a few of those. But this is what I feel like, ultimately, is good for me. <laughs> or good enough for me, anyway, yeah. It puts the lead Mon in the middle. See, I organized the team like this because I thought these two would be in the middle. Like, I was trying to figure out, you know, how... 
Yeah, how it organized the team. That's why I had it this way, because I thought it would be with these two in the middle right there. But you know what? I'm totally fine with what it with what it did. It decided, you know, these two on either side, then it did these then it did these two, then it did these two. So like I I now understand what order it went in, and maybe I'll change it later. Maybe I'll go back and fix it off stream or something. But like the point is, like I'm also not unhappy with the order it was in either. So I might actually just leave it that way. It actually looked nice. So. I'm good with that. But yeah, I put some thought into this team. This is kind of my final anything goes team. I think it's a solid anything goes team. Full of the required top tiers. All four of them, in fact. And I like having speed, and Kyogre is excellent as well. I think this is a decent team. There are plenty of other ways I could have done it, but this is the way I choose to do it. Mostly hyper-offensively. Anyway. So. We found the hidden expert belt. We did some more battle tower stuff, reached max rank, and we fought Leon again in singles and reordered our team on the start on the start screen. There's not a whole lot left to do. We're basically done with everything. There's a couple more Pokemon on the side that I would like to level up, maybe. Like, to fill out the deck some more. Or maybe a few more legendaries I'd like to level up just to have some more options, I guess. But, I mean, ultimately, there's really nothing else left to do except... Go in here and finish whatever's left of the battle tower. And then after that, it just becomes more raid dens to fill out the decks. Or if you guys would like to do some battles, we can. Like Sequata. We did, we did some battles with me the other day. If anybody else would like to do that as well, we could do that. Once the battle tower's done here. If anybody feels like it, I mean. There is actually, hold on, there is one other thing to do. There's one other thing to do. Before I forget again. Fossils. So, I got the mystery gift. Yeah, see the Japanese Dracovish here? I got the mystery gift Dracovish from Ash's team. It definitely needs some work. As you, as you would expect from anything off of Ash's team. But, uh... <coughs> yeah! You can get this, Duck Game. Go to Blaine's channel. One of his videos had the code. Like, all I did was I, I looked at one of Blaine's videos, he put a code in the video, I went to Mystery Gift and typed it in, and there it was. It gave it to me. And then I think l as the month goes on, you get the other members of his team too, if you care to get them. There's nothing special about this Dracovish, like, not really. 
So it's not like super, it's not shiny or anything as far as I can tell. So like, you know, it's not like. Hey, I don't recall any part where he said it was Japan only. I just typed it in and there it was. That's all. I just went to Mystery Gift and typed it in. I think it was with, you know, get with code or password and just, and it gave it to me. So, I don't know, Duck Game. Maybe, maybe go type in that code. Maybe you want to, maybe you want to go take care of that. But anyway, the main reason I did it was because I wanted Dracovish because I can't find all the fossils I need. Like, Duck Game. Do you have the other fossils I'm missing? Because... It sure would be nice. To be able to get the ones that I'm missing. Oh no, get out of the way all you guys. What's it, over here? Is this scientist lady up here does the fossils, but like I've only got two. Yeah, it's her. <laughs> yes, Carolus. These fossils are up to your standards. Yes, please restore these. Just stick them together. Touch trade them if you'd like. Uh... Oh, Carolus. Got an arc, uh, an Arctazolt. Okay. Yeah. I I got the joke. Carolus. <laughs> yes. All right. Arctazolt. That's nice. But like, isn't there like a whole bunch of different combinations? Touch trade, trade in return. Oh. Sure. Like, how do you... Like, I was only ever able to get the two different fossils, and I'm just like, how do you even get the other ones? Like, how many even... How many fossils are there even? Because I've seen a bunch of different combinations. How many different fossil Pokemon are there in this game? I mean, first of all, where'd that go just now? I want to make sure it's in a place I can find it. Probably at the end of the list. Yep, end of the list. Two tops, two bottoms, four mon. Okay. Interesting. Well, like, if you don't mind, like, trading me just some junk or something holding the other fossils, I'd appreciate it. Like, if you need, I can swap you the fossils I have. I have some spares. Yeah, fossilized dino and fossilized bird. Like, that's all I've got.
I'm like, I have no clue what other combinations to put this in. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, okay, never mind. That works fine. That works, too. You can just give me the mons for the decks. Yeah, that's fine. I'm good with that. I'll trade them back and forth with you. That sounds fine. Let's get that fixed. Just for the decks. Why not? <laughs> she looks very bored. Very tired of digging around in the mud. Very tired. Uh, let's see, that's right. Connect to the internet. Sorry, my brain had to warm up for a second and actually remember how the heck to actually do this. Link trade. Set code. Four ones. Four fives. That is our code. Four ones, four fives. Yeah, we'll just do some quick back and forths. just for the decks, and that will do. I like this track. Like, like this track is actually good. I'm going to use it in Breath of the Wild next time. Air. Nice. Thank you, Duck Game. I appreciate it. Draco's ult. And then... Trade it for the other one that I'm missing. Somehow she got the fish's head backwards. Wait, wouldn't this mean there's five? Hold on, though. Isn't there five, though? Because what about Dracovish? Actually, gonna look at my Pokedex for once. Yep, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Dracozolt, Arctozolt, Dracovish, and Arctivish. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I thought there was... I'm... No. My brain miscounted, I guess. Yeah, okay. No, I was just going crazy there for a second. Never mind. But yeah, thank you. Now I have all, all of them registered, and I appreciate it. Still a bunch of Pokemon I'm missing, but like I said, not really in a hurry to catch them all. I don't care that much. I've caught most of them. Over two-thirds of them. That's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. I wonder if the professor has anything to say about it. I'm just curious. What do they have to say about it? Anything? Really? That's all she says? Is there truly just nothing else? Okay. Got like half the decks completed. So I assume the reward for completing the entire decks is just the shiny charm, right? just to double check. Yeah, nope. Nobody has anything to say about it. Okay, well, fine. Let's wrap up the game. Completing the base 400, the director gives you charm, yes. Oh, the director, yeah, the guy back here in the hotel over here. I forget what room he was in. Or actually, where even was the hotel? Oh yeah, it was right, it was one of these center buildings here. I think it was this one. Like, you can go up here. And one of these rooms has the director in it. I don't remember. Yeah, I have no idea which room. I'm not going to search forever or anything. Why'd they even put all this here? Like, some of these rooms are just like, what was even the point? Are these the directors here, right? Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is the room.
Yeah, this guy right there. Alright. Well, let's go wrap up the battle tower, I suppose. Or at least attempt to. And then, like I said, if you guys want to do, like, any sort of, like, battling or whatever, like, we can do a Link battle. I guess we could do a, uh, a max raid if you guys want to. I mean, whatever. But we're basically done. We're basically done with this game. There's not really much else to do. This battle tower is pretty much the last of it. I mean, assuming we didn't already finish it. And a tank. Well, I mean, or I could just go with Kyogre. Yeah, we'll bring Kyogre this time. Eva? <laughs> I mean, what happens if I keep going here? Oh! Oh, I see! Things get serious, huh? <laughs> All right, then. I see. Suddenly, Dynamax is allowed. Do they have items now? Are they scarier? Ooh, although... Ooh, a normal type. Uh, yeah, we have to switch. Station it is. Also didn't kill. Ooh, what is this thing? Full defensive or something? Yeah, suddenly they're stronger. Interesting. The beginning of the real battle tower, I guess. Or, I mean, it's probably the end, but still. was much stronger. <laughs> OK. 
Okie dokie. Especially if they're gonna Dynamax or G Max. This could be interesting. I mean, the question is is she going to. Is she just gonna do it right away? Oh no! Straight up sucker punch, okay. But it didn't kill, thankfully. Okay. Hey, Leafeon! One of the worst evolutions. Like, okay, truth is, Leafeon's not terrible, but... It's also not top tier or anything, either. It's a bit outclassed by some others, to say the least. I think Leafeon's good in, like, lower tiers? I forget what tier Leafeon's in, but I'm sh I think it's like PU or something. But it might have dropped out because of power creep. I, my information might be old. <laughs> Stopped at the wrong monorail. They should have had us on the elevator. Like, they should have had these smaller fights on the elevators and then have us only, yeah, doing battles up here, like after a series or something. I think that would have been cool. Hmm. The last Milotic I fought survived this. Yeah, it did. It survived again. Tough Milotic. Drake a ball. Oh, and sucker punch. Uh. Calyrex has some very specific counters. All right. Nice Drake a ball, but. I've got an answer. And it's raining already, which is perfect. Which means one of my two weaknesses is weakened. Hmm, uh, yeah, I was about to say, Draco Bolt's a little too serious for me to do anything less than just go ahead and kill it. Isn't Dynamaxed yet. I'm a Swords Dance. Is he not going to? Hmm. I thought he was going to Dynamax. That's alright. 
ain't complaining if he doesn't. So my only question is, how long does this go on for? Before we're done with the battle tower. Psyshock is tempting here, but we'll go for the Astral Barrage anyway. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Like, what's the point of detect when it's really just... It's just protect. Like, why have two moves that do the same thing? Priority move, of course. Come on. Corviknight. That's just food for Calyrex. And that's why I didn't pick Psy Shock. It was tempting, but I knew better. Honestly, I wonder what they're gonna do in Gen 9 for Power Creep. Like, these legendaries are pretty strong. I'm, al I'm already kind of afraid of just how crazy the Gen 9 legendaries are gonna have to be in order to compete. Especially since one of them has the same typing as Zekrom, so like... Oh my gosh, this guy is just stalling for time so much! Like, one of them is the same type as Zekrom, so is it just gonna be Zekrom but better? I will stop eventually if this just keeps going forever. Wait a minute. This is the same lady with different Pokemon. Uh, I don't think they're officially confirmed, but like... I mean, I was looking at Blaine's channel and like, yeah, the type the types were leaked and not confirmed, but one of them looks fairly obvious. Dragon Electric, the future one. You know, just looking at it, Dragon Electric would make sense, and it's that's the same type as Zekrom. And so I'm like, so is it just gonna be a better version of that? Okay, Dragon Steel, so is it just going to be a better Dialga then? Like, how are they going to power creep it? Like, I'm. St I just. I wonder. Oh, good lord. First impression. Even your priority moves. Get out of here. Uh, they were saying uh, Dragon Fighting. So, same as, like, Como. -o. Which, to be fair, we don't have a legendary in that category. You're going Scarlet? Good, because I'm going Violet. 
Oh, hey! It's one of these guys. Finger wave? Oh, no. Nah, no finger wave. Another leafy on. So how long does this go on for anyway? Duck game, how many battles are in Master or in the Master Ball tier? I'm max rank. Like, how long does this go on for? Just curious. Just continuously till I lose? Okay, well, we're not going on literally forever. We had that one little girl try to Dynamax on us, so I thought... You know, maybe. Oh, and this person's switching. Not that it's gonna do them any good, but like. So I thought maybe this was, you know, this is some sort of higher tier and there's like, you know, Leon waiting for us at the end, maybe. But if it's just, if this is just endless mode, then I'm definitely, you know, I'm out here in a minute. Is there an end to it? Let me, let me like Google it or something. I need to know. After reaching Master Ball tier, only repeating the Master Ball tier is possible, and there will be no rank up rewards. Really? Aww. Oh my gosh, this... This hit, Monchan, please. Why, game, why? Get out of here. I mean, it looks sure looks like there's rewards to me. I mean, wait a minute. Is this implying that we haven't actually cleared it? Like, the first time? Like, for the first time? Like, I think that seems to be what's being implied here. Like, there should be a reward at the end of this.
because we're getting rewards. So, like, this would be our first time through. How many battles are actually in it? Also, dark type. This will probably end badly. But we're gonna try it anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, I figured as much. Uh, that's okay though. Kyogre, get him! Rain boosted water spout. Smack him. after reaching Master Ball tier there. Oh my gosh. Tox effects. Yeah, not enough. Oh, going for Toxic. I wonder if that'll be enough though. Still mostly at full health. Oh, then he stalls. Excuse me. Never mind. And he stalls. So, Master Ball tier in Battle Tower 1v1 is trash. Alright, we're gonna the great. Monster Battle Rewards, Canyon Max tier 1v1 format. I did one more run up next here there wasn't there were no such rewards oh there is a boss okay so there is an ending to this we just don't get very good rewards Master Ball rank, you'll receive rewards first at 10 wins. Receive a randomized mint every 20 wins until you reach 200 wins total, after which you just get reward at 10, 20, 30, 40 wins. Okay, well, we're not doing 200 battles. Yeah, okay, so this, yeah, we're not doing all that, definitely. So yeah, it really does, it really is endless, okay. We'll go until whatever the, the 20 reward is and then we're calling it there. As much as I love seeing Caloric smack things around, I think that's good. I think that's going to be enough.
have no idea how many battles we've done, but we should be pretty close to 20. And I'm going to call that victory. Like, we got that bottle of PP Max. So, like, now I'm just like, okay, whatever the next reward is, that's where we're stopping. And I'm going to call that game. Every once in a while, they're good enough to actually beat Calyrex. But usually, anything that beats Calyrex doesn't also beat Zation. Jask. Oh, but it used to endure. Get out of here. Out, I said. Oh, come on. Yeah, see, this is this is how I remember like the battle tower in BDSP. Let's just spam protect all day long. Wow. That a that It's not called after aftermath, but like it's still effectively aftermath. Like, oh my gosh. That kid Kid was actually rough. Oh, hi Leon. Are you the 20th battle? Allow me to be the one who faces you in the greatest ever match here at the Battle Tower. Okay. Sure. This is the perfect way to finish. This is the perfect way to finish Cinderace. Oh. Okay. I will admit, I was not expecting a Cinderace. But, if that indeed is a Cinderace, Wait a minute. Is that Scarf? How'd it go first? Yeah, it shouldn't have been able to go first unless it has Scarf. Wow, all right. I'll admit that was a surprise. Oh, and he's still got that Inteleon. He's still got that Inteleon. Does it still have a focus sash? Oh, and it doesn't have sucker punch apparently. It does. It still has that focus sash that's gonna kill me. Well, that's fine. That's okay. I could use Kyogre, but I'm actually going to save that in case he manages to get past Zation. We're going to do exactly the same thing we did last time.
Swords dance. Focus energy, huh? Getting pumped up gonna crit me, huh? You know what? I'm gonna Swords Dance again, because there's something specific I want to try. If it doesn't work, oh well. Snipe Shot, that's a guaranteed crit. With Focus Energy behind it. Oof! That did more than I thought it would do, to be fair. But that's okay. Okay, so I'm at plus five. Behemoth Blade, because he's gonna Dynamax. We all know he will. one who Dynamaxes besides that one random little girl. I just noticed the Dynamax clouds were behind his Charizard's tail. Yep. Bang. Plus five Behemoth Blade. Epic finish. I've got you, and I've got Hop, I've got Charizard beside me. I feel there's no limit to how strong I can become. It's just like I told you before. There's truly no limit when it comes to Pokemon. We're all going to have a champion time. The greatest battle of the Battle Tower is over. But at least since, since it was between you and me, no, since it was between in your team and mine, we managed to make, make it a brilliant match. Champion, I hope this isn't the last time I get to meet, meet you in battle. Keep challenging me so that I can keep reaching ever greater heights. You earned two BP. Yep, and that's the end. Oh, we get a special ribbon. And that's it. <laughs> okay then. 39 BP is what I've got left over. Hmm. It's enough for a choice item maybe. Which I guess in fairness wouldn't be awful to have. Specs or band or something. Eh, figure out what I want later. Okay. That's fine though. That was the perfect way to wrap up this game. So, I mean, besides completing the decks, I'm pretty sure that's all there is to do. I'm fairly certain that is the end of Pokemon Sword. Uh, if you guys want to do any uh, any link battles or any raids or anything, I'd say now's the time. We got a little time, I guess we could do, you know, one or two, but like... I'd say otherwise we're pretty done. Again, anything else I would do would literally just be to fill out the deck some more. You're going from 50 to 200 CCs on Mario Kart? I did see you hop on Mario Kart earlier.
Um. Yeah, no, probably not today. Um. There's actually a couple things left to do. To wrap up Pokemon once and for all, or... I mean, I don't know. How does everybody feel about it? If I was to switch to Mario Kart for a short time... Would y'all be interested? We could do it for like an hour. But there are, there are actually, there are some things that need to be that need to be taken care of, so it would only be an hour. Duck Game, Aurora, you still around? Do we have enough people to even bother? But yeah, like... That's pretty much it. <laughs> Might go back here to collect a few more legendaries, if I can find any. Does she even have one for me? Oh yeah. <laughs> the legends of Olina. Looking for Rose. Oh. Somebody with their, got their crown on there phasing through someone else. Actually, hold on. There is one thing to look at. There is one other thing I want to look at before our, before we go. We got the outfit for the for the battle tower, and I want to see what it looks like. But besides that, we are done. What do we got? Sport stop. Battle tower. Uh, is there a full set? No. Uh, I don't know why I would expect that. All right. Uh, let's remove the jacket. Yeah, I'm not gonna save any of this because I like my look. I mean, unless this look is really that much better. Ranked battles. Oh, oh, it's this. Ooh. Hey, actually, that looks nice. And that doesn't look too bad either, to be honest. Yeah, that's actually a long sleeve shirt. What do you know? Like, literally everything else is like the short sleeve shirt thing, but this is actually just a long sleeve shirt. Nice. It's very colorful, too. I like it. That game probably went to eat. Yep. Yeah. Probably. But yeah, okay. This looks nice, I guess. Alright. Yeah, this is okay. Does it come with a hat? No? No hat? Oh, no, wait. Oh, no. That's something else. Huh. Okay. Not awful. Oh. Ah. Ah, here we go. Interesting. Very. It looks okay, I think. Although, this... I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it also... <laughs> like, this reminds me a bit of, like, the, the glow-in-the-dark outfit from BDSP. The futuristic outfit. Like, I guess this doesn't look bad, it just... Looks a little... Like, it's definitely an outfit that would stand out quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, it almost... Like, the color scheme almost reminds me of the... 
that one set of armor in Breath of the Wild, the, the stall outfit. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't think there's any shoes that come with it in particular. No, okay. Is there a bag? No, of course not. All right. Uh, that was an opportunity, though. They could have had something nice there. All right, I mean... Yeah, there's no jacket either. Not that it really needs it. I mean, this is a nice outfit, I guess. It looks okay. It's very multicolored. I don't dislike it. But I kind of like the look I have. I think it looks neater, tidier. You know, you could make some changes to it, but I don't see any particular reason why. Why I would need to. So yeah, I guess besides hunting down a few other legendaries, like that's pretty much it. Raising up other Pokemon, catching other things to fill out the decks. That's pretty much the end. Unless you guys want to do something. Last chance. If you want to do any Pokemon battles or anything. Because otherwise, I'm calling it here. All in all, I'd say this has been pretty fun. Like, this is a good game. I'm, I'm glad I. Yeah, what? Is she, what is she hot out here in the snow? Oh my gosh! There's like something, some Pokemon roaring out there. But yeah, I'm like, I'm happy I. I'm happy I played this. Maybe not the best Pokemon game I've ever played, but it's also not the worst by any stretch. Man, what is that? Oh. Oh, I see. Also gotta love this. Just, like, pushing it. <laughs> Maybe we'll go inside after all. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you know, this game, it's it's got its flaws, but it's also, it's also got a lot of cool stuff in it. Like, the wild areas were genius. I wish they had done it kind of like they did Arceus, though. <laughs> like, just have it be a whole lot more smooth. Um, some of the characters were interesting. The plot was somewhat pathetic, though. The music was, you know, some of it was good, some of it wasn't. All in all, it was it was a very it was a good experience. You know, nothing nothing too amazing, but also not bad either. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I picked up this game. Thank you, Judex, so much for the recommendation. If I honestly had to rate this game, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. I could wish for some better menu controls sometimes. <sighs> then again, that's fine. If I had to rate this game in all honesty, I'd give it, I don't know, something like an 8.5. It's good. It was worth my time. Which is honestly more than I originally thought. So, 
Fair enough. Anyway, that's going to do it for Pokemon Sword. Thank you all so much for for joining me on this this journey here. Now I'm off to I'm off to Pokemon Arceus to actually do the Celebi thing that I or sorry, not the Celebi, the uh Shaman. Yeah. To do the uh that Shaman thing that I actually couldn't do without a uh, sword and shield file. I'm off to do that and wrap up a part of Arceus I never thought I'd get to do. And also some stuff in BDSP to finally finish a uh, true 100% over there. Which is, like I said, the reason... Yeah, BDSP is the reason I'm never gonna 100% a Pokemon game again. <laughs> like... That was a nightmare at 100%. Like, this seems like it'd be less of a nightmare, but also it's still a lot to do. Like, it's too much. There's just too many. Too many to bother with all the grinding. And I think, I think I'm better off doing Pokemon games that way, because this has been... I did some grinding, and I can already tell, like... That I'm, I'm glad I'm not doing all the grinding. It's, it's more fun this way. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go to break. Thank you all for coming and watching this playthrough. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay. One last time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is where most people tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while I would appreciate you doing all that, if you enjoyed my content, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex so you can watch and chat with me while I make these. I'm a family-friendly streamer, so everybody's welcome. Throw me a follow on Twitch and Twitter so you can get notifications when I go live. Links will be down in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to meeting you.